Hey there. Sorry about this, Parker. I'm saucing on you a little bit with this video, but we've got the, uh, we're out in Vegas, Las Vegas, Nevada. We've got the 2017 LP580-2 Huracan from Dream Exotics, and I love the car, but there's a few things I want to go over that I think you should know if you're looking into buying one, or if you just want to see if it has any quirks, because not every car is perfect. You know what I mean? Let's go downstairs, down there, back behind me, around where the car is and I'll get more into detail with it. Ha <laughs> ha! Cold Star just finished up. Let's get this car moved from all these other cars so I can get outside, walk around, and show you exactly what I'm talking about. Palm trees, that's much better. So, the first thing I want to get into with you guys is actually when I'm about to put this thing in park. So there's an electronic parking brake. I'm not a fan of those. Like, I'm just, I'm just personally not a fan of electronic parking brakes. I mean, you pull that, you're good to go. Parking brakes engaged, and then you press P to put the car in park, and that's that. I'm gonna put the car in sport, Strata, just to quiet down a little bit, just so I can talk to you guys about this. But let's get right into it, okay? That's number one is the electronic parking brake. That's kind of uh, trivial in a sense, though, because it doesn't really have much else to do with the car. It's not very particular to the car. Now, to get particular to the car, we have all these buttons up here. If you weren't familiar or aren't familiar with the Lamborghini, it's like a jet. It's one of my favorite things about this and the Gallardo and the Aventador. Uh, more so this, it's set up kind of like the Aventador is, but this is very Gallardo-esque. What we're looking at here are the window switches on each side. They're cool, nothing wrong with them, but we've got this devastating lift. I'm gonna put the camera outside the car to show you exactly what I'm talking about, but it takes forever to get this lift up and down. It's terrible, purely. Disturbingly terrible. Check it out. See what I mean? It takes even longer for it to lower, and I'm not even going to show you that because I don't want to waste your time. Because it takes forever. And I wouldn't be complaining about this, but there are other cars like Porsche that have a lift that drops quickly, aggressively. Some other vehicles do too as well, but I just wanted to throw that out there. Porsche is the one that comes right to mind. One thing I do want you to keep in mind is the fact that I don't necessarily, these aren't deal breakers. Everything I'm about to say negatively is it's stuff that you can actually get away with. It's stuff that's good that the car has. If the car didn't have it, it would make it much less daily drivable in a sense. Therefore, that is the problem. And now we're dropping the lift. 20 years later. And that's gonna lead to my next point. This cup holder is about $900. Just, yes, so you know, there is a cup holder there within this texture in here. Press that, a little cup holder pops out. I might still have video footage available that I can show you that a, a cup doesn't really fit in this. Yeah, we're gonna have a Coke all over in That here. doesn't fit. It's kind of adjustable, but not really. Regular soda from In-N-Out won't even fit in that. So what is the purpose of the cup holder if I can't hold my cups? Won't even fit a Red Bull. Well, it, yeah, it, it probably would fit a Red Bull, so you're good there. I didn't bring mine downstairs with me. Also, that is a badge that you pay, I think, another $1,100 or something for. Correct me if I'm wrong. You can look it up and Google it and be a genius. And you can be smarter than me if you Google it and look it up and, and tell me and correct me in the comments. You'll, you'll look like a genius. So that'll be cool, won't that? On top of that, the air conditioning. Get ready for this. I'm going to press this button. Again, guys, I'm, I'm really nitpicking. This is just stuff that if Lamborghini sees this video, they can make it a little bit better. Really, the only way to adjust this is through these vents. Press down, turn, and it'll turn that back up. Putting it on low puts it on full blast. If you did not know how to turn these off, you just have to put the temperature to basically room temperature, or like 70 in the middle. And if you want to blast the heat, turn all the way up. That's a cool situation. I'm just not familiar with that in most vehicles. It'd be cool if it was the same in almost every vehicle, but at the same time, this is in every vehicle. So I, I, it's kind of, it's just like a weird quirk rather than a, a, a negative thing. That's really it. I don't even need to go into detail with this next subject I'm about to get into, but if you notice these really cool paddles here, this is a uh, 
DCT, a double clutch transmission, which is light years better than the single clutch. Not as aggressive, but still the car's way aggressive enough. You don't need a crazy transmission or a bad transmission to make your, your Lamborghini uh, any more aggressive. So I'm not gonna nitpick there, but it'd be cool if there was a little gated, gated manual right there. It'd be cool, it's just something I wanna add on there. I would love to have one of these in a manual. But the fact that it's not a manual, not a deal breaker, is what it is. Yeah. The engine cover. It's a louvered engine cover, and again, this is another thing that I personally would option. Uh, I would absolutely option this in my own. The thing is, it gets hot. And another thing I can throw in there, which this isn't a downside, this is just something to note. Having had this car on track multiple times before, I've had more of, uh, I guess you could say, stripper versions in a sense. This bus, I'm gonna have to move because this bus is... Yep, we're gonna move. Yeah, da, 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 da. For intermission, ladies and gentlemen. How do you like these palm trees? It's a pretty cool view, right? Right. As I drive, I'll explain this to you. These cars get hot. They don't overheat in a sense when they're stock OEM, the factory engine, the factory V10. It's not going to necessarily go limp mode on you. It could, but it's not known for it. What I do wanna go into though is the fact that, like I said, it gets hot. And in a second, I'm going to show you why that's a problem. At that park, down here you've got that button. We've got this engine bay right here. I hope pull that off. I'm not seeing that. That's how the clothes is there. As you can see, that gets hot. It's metal, so when you touch it, it's it's very hot. It can it can burn you. So it can burn you. Just be safe when you're doing that. Also, the last thing I'm going to throw out for you guys, this Audi key that you see right here with Lamborghini badges on it. It's got a nice little Lamborghini insignia. This is better than what Aston Martin did with their Volvo keys. But still, this is it's a heavy key. It feels good. It's just not it's not perfect. That's cool though. That's pretty cool. I hope that explains everything for you viewers that are watching this and everybody that has any types of gripe or concern with the Lamborghini Huracan if you own one or if you've been in one or driven one or rented one. If you've only been in one for a little bit, go ahead, give your opinion, please. But I do want you to keep in mind, you, you have to drive cars for a couple days, a couple hours, a while, or track them or something to really know what's good and bad about them. Let me show you one last thing. When I go to turn this AC off, it just takes a couple seconds to turn off. These are little fun facts too, so this video isn't really supposed to be negative. I'm just kind of showing you tricks or or things that you should keep in mind if you're about to drive a Lamborghini or if you're about to rent a Huracan, have your rental car guy go run through everything. This car is actually provided by Dream Exotics Rental Cars. DreamExoticsRentals.com I think is the website. I'll list it in the description or something below. Uh, I might have a promo code to use, so if you throw that coupon code in there, you will get a discount on any car, not a Huracan, any car. Check that out. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe down below. Subscribe down below as well if you're trying to join the crew, join the squad, Supercars of Philadelphia. We don't really have a name for you guys. I should probably comment below if you guys want like some type of nickname or something. I don't know. Y'all know how I'm going to end this. Share this with anyone that you think might benefit from this video, and I... We'll catch you later.